Hi everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I'm really excited to announce that I'm collaborating with David Bombo yet again to release another course on Udemy. I'm really excited about this announcement, but before we talk about it any further, let's see the promo video. Hey everyone, it's David Bombo. Really excited to bring you this new Udemy course. I'm collaborating with the amazing Rana Khalil. She has massive amounts of experience, works with people on a day-to-day -day basis, pen testing their applications, making sure that their code is secure. Rana, tell us about this new course that you're bringing to Udemy. Hi, David. I'm really excited about this course because it's going to be one of several courses that we're going to release to get an individual from beginner level in web application pen testing all the way to expert level. Rani, in this course, what are you covering? For this course specifically, we're going to be covering a really important vulnerability category called server-side request forgery, or in short, SSRF. SSRF is a type of vulnerability that allows the attacker to use the application to make requests to unintended locations, such as other internal services in the network where the application is hosted, or even external services that have a trust relationship between the application and that external service. This type of vulnerability can allow an attacker to gain unauthorized access uh, to services and data of the organization. It could also, in some cases, lead to arbitrary command execution. In fact, it's considered to be the 10th most critical security risk facing web applications today, according to the OWASP top 10 list. It's absolutely important for you as a pen tester to know how to find and exploit SSRF vulnerabilities. Rana, a question that people always ask, are there hands-on labs in your course? Absolutely. So the way I've structured the course is it has both a theory component and a lab component. For the theory component, we teach you everything that you need to know when it comes to SSRF vulnerabilities. So we'll go over the technical details behind SSRF vulnerabilities how to find SSRF vulnerabilities from both a black box and a white box perspective, how to exploit these types of vulnerabilities, and then we'll go over prevention and mitigation techniques on how to prevent SSRF attacks. So that's the theory component. For the lab component, we have seven hands-on labs of varying difficulty levels. So we'll start off with a really simple case of SSRF called M-band SSRF. That's where you see the output of your payload directly presented to you and the response of the request. And then we'll move on to more difficult types of SSRF like blind SSRF. Now for the lab videos, we'll first teach you how to exploit the vulnerabilities manually. And then we'll teach you how to script the exploits in Python. The labs are created by the Port Swigger organization as part of the Web Security Academy. And in my opinion, the Web Security Academy is the gold standard when it comes to learning web security. Rana, tell us about the story with Port Swigger and how they wanted to buy your course. Yes, Port Swigger did reach out to me when I first started my YouTube channel. They were really impressed with the type of work that I was doing and they wanted to integrate my videos as part of the official solution. However, I wanted to keep the intellectual property on my content and so I respectfully declined. Since then, my videos have had over 1.5 million views on YouTube. I have thousands of students on my own academy and now my videos are on Udemy. Rana, one of the criticisms of instructors is they teach, but they don't do. But that's different in your case, right? Oh, I do this type of work on a daily basis. I have my own consulting company where I test the applications that my clients develop and the third-party applications that they acquire. I also work with my clients to integrate security as part of every phase of the software development lifecycle. This way, we're more likely to find vulnerabilities earlier in the SDLC when they're much easier to fix less time consuming to fix, and much, much cheaper to fix. Now, when it comes to SSRF vulnerabilities, we usually find them in applications that are fetching remote resources without first validating user supplied input. And the impact of these types of vulnerabilities largely depends on the access or the trust relationships that this server has with other uh, servers or applications. So the impact could be really high if let's say the server has access to the entire internal network and the impact could be really low if the server is completely isolated. But like I said, so SSRF is considered the 10th most critical security risk facing web applications today, according to the OWASP top 10 list. 
And so it's definitely a vulnerability that you want to know how to find if you're a pen tester and a vulnerability that you want to know how to defend against if you're a software developer. So I'm really excited to be collaborating with Rana, bringing you this new Udemy course. I really hope that you enjoy it. But if for any reason you don't like the course, you can get a refund. There's a 30-day money-back guarantee. I can't imagine that you'll ever use that because Rana's content is amazing. There are thousands and thousands of people out there who have taken her courses and who love her content, and so do I. So hopefully we'll see you in the course. As you heard in the promo video, I'm collaborating with David Bumble to bring my Web Security Academy series content on Udemy. Now you might be wondering, what's the difference between Udemy, my own academy, and my YouTube channel? And so I've prepared a comparison on the different features that you might be interested in that you might get on one platform, but not on another platform. I'll start off by saying that the videos on YouTube, Udemy, and my academy are very similar with slight differences. First thing is the YouTube videos contain sponsorship messages and promotional ads. The only way that I can afford to keep the channel going is by advertising my paid course. And so you'll see with every YouTube video, there will be a promotional ad at the beginning of the video and at the end of the video. There's also uh, YouTube ads that play while you're watching the video. Now, if you were to purchase the course on Udemy or on my own academy, you won't run into any ads or promotional messages. Next, we have subtitles. Majority of the videos on YouTube do not have subtitles. It really depends on the YouTube algorithm. If it's able to generate subtitles when I upload the video, then it will include them. If it's not able to generate them, they won't be included in the video. Now, if you purchase the course on Udemy or my academy, there are auto-generated subtitles for all the videos. In my academy, we have included subtitles not just in English, but also in Arabic, Spanish, Portuguese, Hindi, and French, and we're currently working towards including more languages in the future. Another important difference is the content included on each platform. My Academy includes over 50 hours worth of videos covering 15 vulnerability categories, whereas on Udemy, each course covers a single vulnerability category or topic. So for example, SQL Injection is a course on its own on Udemy. Same goes for server-side request forgery. Now, when it comes to YouTube, we do have a weekly release schedule, and so not all the videos are currently on my YouTube channel. Next, we have gaining access to a Discord channel to ask questions. Currently, there's no support for questions on YouTube videos. However, if you purchase the course on Udemy, you'll get support from David's amazing technical team. And if you purchase the course on my academy, you'll get access to my dedicated Discord server where you can ask me questions. Last but not least, we have pricing. YouTube is obviously free, the Udemy courses are extremely cheap, and my course is a bit more expensive. However, like I said, in my academy, you gain access to over 50 hours worth of content covering 15 vulnerability categories. You also gain access to my own dedicated Discord server where you can ask me questions. And so really to summarize it, if you can't afford the course, then just watch it on YouTube for free. If you're only interested in learning about one specific vulnerability category, then buy that specific course on Udemy. However, if you're interested in gaining access to the entire Web Security Academy series, then you should purchase the course on my own academy. I'll add the links to both Udemy and my academy in the description of the video. That is it. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.